Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share my second look from the chocolate bar palette uh, little pamphlet that comes inside. I did a look before which is hot cocoa and I will link it in the description box down below. But basically today I'm going to move on to the next one which is the semi-sweet look. And this is the original chocolate bar. It's not the semi-sweet, it just happens to be called that specific look so I have the old version so I'm gonna need the little thing with the names and now I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the semi sweet look which is something that I love to use whenever I'm gonna wear my glasses I think it actually shines through the glasses and it creates something that I really really like so I'm gonna start with my prime and poreless and since this is gonna fill in my pores I want to make sure that I do work and kind of pat the product into where I have the biggest pores which is around my nose and in my forehead. Now I'm going to move on to my powder foundation. This is the Cocoa Powder Foundation which actually smells amazing and I do love this foundation. I actually apply two layers of this foundation and I just realized that I didn't apply my concealer which I usually do before I apply the foundation. So I'm going to stop in the first layer and go back to the concealer which is by e.l.f. and with this my P84 I'm gonna blend it and cover all my dark circles which is pretty much the help that I need to then go back to the foundation and apply the second layer Now with the second layer, it looks more of a medium to full cover effect and I do like it because it gives me a more of a natural look. Uh, as you can see right there, half of my face has the foundation, the other one doesn't and I think they create something really nice and natural. Now I'm going to start uh, to contour my face very lightly with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is going to give me some shape to my face without being too harsh. Now instead of a blush, I'm going to apply this Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer and I'm going to apply it wherever I would apply my blush and this will give me a very nice glow that I really like. Before I apply any eyeshadows, I want to make sure that they will last all day. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my eye, um, shadow insurance, Too Faced shadow insurance on both eyes. Just wait a few seconds and then start working with my eyeshadows. I'm going to start with the color Salted Caramel and this Mirabella blending brush. And I'm going to apply it as my transition color. So I want to make sure that it's not on the crease, but actually just right above it. Now taking this flat shader brush by Sonia Kashak, I'm going to take the color Strawberry Bonbon and I'm going to apply it in layers into my lid area. This is a very light color and it does look kind of white on camera but it's really nice and like a baby pink that I love and I want to make sure that I apply it in layers just to make sure that you know it will get the intensity that I want which is something that it would go through the glasses. take the color Candid Violet with this angle brush by e.l.f. and I'm gonna apply it into my outer corner kind of defining the outer V and at the same time blending it into the strawberry bonbon color. And 
Since I want this look to be very well blended and kind of smoky, I'm going to take the Mirabella blending brush and I'm going to blend the eyeshadow that I just placed into my outer corner. I'm going to take this deeper brown color and with this coastal scent brush, I want to apply it into my, my crease. This is going to tie all the colors together and it's going to create some definition into that area. For my lower lash line, I'm going to uh, use this flat shader brush and I'm going to define the bottom lashes. This makes a huge difference whenever I want to do eye makeup and wear glasses. Then I'm going to go back to Strawberry Bonbon and this flat, flat shader brush and I'm going to apply it into the inner lower part of the eye. I don't like to wear a lot of mascara when I'm wearing glasses, so I'm going to start by applying this Very Natural Lashes by Kiss. And then I'm going to apply just a little amount of this Maybelline uh, Big Eyes, I think that's the name of the mascara. And I just want to make sure that I blend my natural lashes with the falsies. So this is going to be my final look, something very, I don't know, I think it's a very sweet makeup, something that it's totally wearable if I want to go to work, if I'm going to run errands, or if I just want to give my eyes a rest and wear my glasses and still have some kind of nice um, eye makeup underneath. So I hope you really enjoy it and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.